Colorado is a melting pot of a metropolis, home of a record-breaking tower and a city of cultural celebration. And today, the big city plays host to big horsepower as NASCAR invades the streets of Toronto. This is the 2010 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series presented by Mobile One, live from Exhibition Place in Toronto. This is the Jump Start 100. And on this sunny Saturday, we say hello, Canada, and welcome to Exhibition Place and our first live coverage of the NASCAR Canadian Tires Series, joined by Dave Bradley and Ron Fellows. And we're all hoping that it indeed does stay dry. The weatherman is saying that we could be having a pop-up thunder shower. You should know that the cars are prepared to run in the rain. Ron, you're one of the most decorated drivers Canada's ever had and driven here many times. All tracks have their own personality. What's the personality of this place? Well, Vic, this is a really fun track to race on because most street circuits don't have a lot of opportunities for passing. But here in Toronto, we've got three areas where we should see some great action regardless of the weather. We hope so. David, uh, people should know you, of course, as the voice of the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. This is round four of 13 right across the country. Why don't you bring us up to date on the first three? Well, in 2010, the series visits a variety of different racetracks right across the country, and the first three races have produced their own unique storylines. Of course, we opened the season at Delaware Speedway, just outside of London, Ontario, and there was the Castro Edge Dodge of DJ Kennington, who held off the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick for his first victory of 2010. Then we moved on to the road courses, Mosport International Raceway, and it was the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick who did the holding off. The 2009 champion Andrew Ranger was the chaser, and uh, Fitzpatrick showed good patience there in getting his first victory of 2010. Back to the ovals for race number three, St. Eustache, Quebec, a four-tenths of a mile tight, flat oval. Some fireworks between the 0-2 of Kerry Mix and Scott Steckley. That opened the door for Kennington to steal away his second victory of 2010. And with those two wins, Kennington leads the points race after three races by 18 over Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick will start on the outside of row one, but if you look down the points table, you'll see the name of Andrew Ranger barely making it. Why? Well, the defending and two-time NASCAR Canadian Tire Series champion is running only a partial series in 2010, but he's come in here and he's grabbed the pole, and he's with our Todd Lewis. Vic, thank you very much. Andrew Ranger scorched his way around the streets of Exhibition Place in a time of 116.659 seconds. Andrew, this 1.7-mile track is pretty tough, and the cars are pretty slippery at the start. What's the plan for the race? The plan for the race, uh, I think we have a really good car. Seriously, we qualified that Dodge car in the pole position. Uh, the, the, the car been amazing all weekend long. And for the race, you know, it's a long race. It's 35 laps. A lot of things can happen. The car has been really slippery, though. But uh, we need to save the brake, the car, for, for the end. So it sounds like Andrew's going to save this one for the end. Hopefully, he's there in the number one position. Andrew, thank you, and good luck today. Of course, this race is entitled the Jump Start 100. And Dan Thompson is the president of Jump Start. Dan, tell us about the program and how it benefits young people in this area especially. Sure, Canadian Tire Jumpstart is a national program, helps in-need kids participate in, in sport and recreation. Uh, we've done some research that says one in three families cannot afford to put their children in sport and rec, and we want all kids to have the benefit of, of the life skills that sport and rec develop. So, so far we've helped over 250,000 kids across Canada. We're so proud to be here today. Congratulations on the success so far. We really appreciate it. Canadian Tire Jumpstart program helping lots of people and certainly worthy of recognition here today. When we come back, we'll run down the starting grid for you. We'll take a closer look at the course here at Exhibition Place. This is the Jumpstart 100. The Jumpstart 100 is brought to you by Castrol Edge, our best Castrol ever by Mopar, authentic performance, and by Ultimate Drivers, driving school that makes a difference. For franchise information across Canada, check out ultimatedrivers.ca. Well, as you look, the, you see the puffy clouds, we've seen dark clouds, we've seen blue sky, we've really seen a little bit of everything, and we're hoping that the rain does hold off the weather right now temperature is in the low 30s that's 32 degrees celsius so puts it around mid 80s in fahrenheit track temperature is very hot which means the cars will likely slide ron and yes there is a severe thunderstorm watch being issued as you look out over the lake towards the south of exhibition place 
That's where the rain is right now. Let's go trackside for those most famous words in motor racing. And now, race fans, for the most famous words in motorsports, we welcome the president of Canadian Tire Jumpstart, Dan Thompson, and Jumpstart representative, Nathaniel Gallia. Drivers, start your engine. Ron, David, it's a, a field of 31 that will roll off the line here. Great look and feel. The cars here from the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series making their return to the streets of Toronto after uh, running here back in the early 2000s under the Cascar banner. Of course, uh, Cascar gone away and NASCAR Canadian Tire Series replacing that division uh, about three years ago. We're into our fourth year as a NASCAR sanctioned uh, series right now. Well, let's take a closer look at this circuit in exhibition place. 1.7 miles around, 11 turns as we fly in to downtown Toronto, Ron. I mentioned it earlier. We talked about the three areas for passing, going into turn one and all the way down the lake shore where the cars will reach the highest top speed in excess of 150 miles an hour. Into turn three is another spot and into turn eight. And we make our way through the nice technical bit onto the start-finish straight. Through those technical bits, and it was Andrew Ranger who was fastest in qualifying as we take a look at the starting grid. Ranger on the front row with J.R. Fitzpatrick, and he is elected to take the inside line. He is the only driver to get into the 116s as he picks up his seventh career pole. And it'll be interesting, too, to see those two drivers head down into uh, turn number one. There have been some fireworks between J.R. Fitzpatrick and Andrew Ranger in the past. And as you say, this really is no surprise. No surprise in the front row. On row two, it is the invader out of Ontario, California. That is Jason Bowles along with the points leader, D.J. Kennington. And they set equal times in qualifying. Kennington gets third based on the fact that he set it first. On row three. Anthony Simone from Holland Landing, Ontario, and Kerry Mix out of Mount Albert, Ontario. He won here in Cascar in 2005. On row four, as the cars pull away, it's Don Thompson Jr. out of Hamilton, Ontario, and Trevor Siebert from Williams Lake, BC, and you know Siebert well. Yes, Trevor has got lots of speed racing experience. Don Thompson could be a factor. We have the teammates on row five, Mark Dilley of Barrie, Ontario, and Scott Steckley, from Milverton, Ontario. Yeah, the teammates will need to uh, pay attention. <laughs> now, someone else that you know well, and people will remember Robin Buck out of Campbellville, Ontario, the veteran, and Peter Clute from Halton Hills. Uh, Robin's got a, a GM Series win here, and a great qualifying effort from Peter. Back in the day, he taught a 15-year-old uh, Jeff Gordon about road racing at most port. It is Jeff, Jeff Lapsovich from Grimsby, Ontario, and Howie Scannell, Jr. from Milton, on row seven. Interesting to see Jeff Lapsovich this far back. He's won twice here back in the old Cascar days. You see Dumoulin from Trois-Rivières. He's a former 1600 champion in Canada with Ron Beauchamp Jr. out of Windsor, Ontario. You have Ferrano from Toronto. He's ran, run in the American Le Mans series and Jason Hathaway. And Hathaway riding his top tens coming into the really struggled to find the setup here after uh, limited practice in the double zero car but uh, Pierre Bork a veteran road race driver and he should be able to move up through this field as we go to row 14 now it is Caitlin Johnson out of Orangeville Ontario she's 21 years of age she started driving carts at age 11 and she had a practice crash yeah, trouble at the end of the straightaway going into turn number three, but the repairs were made in time for qualifying. Conahan and Thorndike on 15, and the final car in the field of 31 is Isabel Tremblay from Hippolyte, Quebec, making her first start. She comes out of St. Estaque. A couple of cars do the 99 of Derek White, an engine change and unapproved, unapproved adjustments on the uh, 59 of Ferrano, so he will start at the tail of the field as well as they've made their first lap and we'll get in closer to green 
This is the Jump Start 100. It's the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series presented by Mobile One.